Hello and thank you for joining our Dash Trader Tips video. Today's video will cover the new commands added to our hotkey scripts. Dash has created new hotkey script commands to satisfy your trading needs. With these new improvements, you'll now be able to build hotkeys that will allow you to 1. Set your volume by dollar amount instead of shares. 2. Buy or sell percentages of your position. 3. Buy or sell relative to your buying power. Or 4. Set your price to your entry or your average cost. To use these new hotkey scripts, you'll need a DAS version 2.805 or later. Before we go into the new commands, I'm going to build a simple hotkey script to use in all my examples. This hotkey will be set up to sell shares at the ask using a simple limit route. First, I'll go to my hotkey configuration window and click on new item. Then I'll click onto order script wizard to start building my script. For side, I'll select cell. In shares, I'll pick on share plus zero. Symbol, I'll leave blank. And the price, I'll select ask. I'll input my account here and select a limit route. Everything else, I'll leave blank. Under mold, I'll select load instead of load and send. This way I can show you what effects the new hotkey script has by loading it into my order box without actually sending the order. Now that I'm done, I'll click on build script to create the hotkey command. I'll give it a name of limit cell example and assign it a key of control S. I'll click on commit to finish creating the hotkey. Here you'll see the hotkey I've just created with its corresponding script. For more information on creating hotkeys, please see our hotkey video. Setting shares by dollar amount. Using this new command, you can enter the dollar amount you want to trade and the command will automatically divide it by the current market price or the price of your limit order. This command is useful if you normally trade based on dollar amount instead of share size. To show you how to do it, I will highlight my hotkey script and click on edit. For my example, I will set my shares to $1,000 per trade and enter the command here of share equals 1000 slash price in my script. Once that's done, I'll click on commit. You can see here in my configuration window that my script has been changed to reflect my new share command. I'll then click on OK to exit. Now watch my order box as I execute my control S hotkey now. You can see that my share amount has been changed to reflect $1,000 worth of Microsoft. Setting shares by percentage of position. With this command, you can buy or sell a portion of your existing position. For example, if you have a rather large position that is starting to lose, you can use this command to sell, say, 75% of the position, but hold on to the rest for a longer term hold, or whatever your strategy may be. To show you how to implement this, I'll again bring up my hotkey script and click on edit. Under share, I'll adjust it to share equals POS, which stands for position, times whatever decimal you wish to put. For our example, I'll put 0.75 to sell 75% of our position. Once that's done, I'll click on commit. A quick look here will confirm that my change has been made. Now go ahead and click on OK. Currently, I have a position of 1,000 shares of Microsoft. Once I click on the hotkey S button now, you can see that my volume has been changed to reflect 75% of my position, or 750 shares. Setting shares by buying power. This command is similar to the previous command, except that it's based on your buying power instead of your current position. If you trade multiple positions at once, be careful with this command as open orders will use up your buying power, which will affect the calculation done by this hotkey. To use this command, again bring up your hotkey script to make a change. I'll make the change to say share equals BP, which stands for buying power, times whatever decimal you want. For our example, I'll put 0 0.50, which is 50%. Once that's done, I'll click on commit and confirm my changes in my configuration window. Since everything looks in order, I'll go ahead and click on OK. 
Watch my volume box carefully as I click on the Control S now. You'll see that the volume has been changed to reflect approximately 50,000 worth of shares, which equates to half of my buying power. Setting price to average cost. This command was created due to popular demand from our users. It allows you to set the order price to the average cost of your position. To show you how to create the command, I'll bring up my hotkey script and hit edit. Under price, I will input price equals average cost, AVG COST. I would like to point out that you may also add or subtract a certain dollar amount from that price. For example, I'll tack on an extra 50 cents to our price. As an added convenience, you may also use this average cost feature on your stop orders as well. That command would be stop price equals average cost. Since my script is complete, I'll go ahead and click on commit to make the changes. I'll click on OK to close my configuration window. Here you can see the average cost of my position of Microsoft is $26.69. Watch the price in my order box as I click on the Control S hotkey now. You can see that my limit order has been changed to $27.19, which is 50 cents above my average cost. Thank you for joining our Dash Trader Tips video on our new hotkey script commands. We hope this will prove to be a big help in your trading endeavors. Once again, thank you for joining us.